Is this the beginning of my labor and delivery vlog? I think so. It is, I think, like 4.30 a.m. and we're getting ready to head out um, to the hospital. I look crazy. I don't have any makeup on. I look like I just woke up from the dead, but I literally just woke up. My hair is done, no makeup. It's 4.30 in the morning. But we're heading out to the hospital and I'm so excited and nervous. Um, let's do a last bump shot. The shirt clearly doesn't fit, so I think I'm gonna have to switch it. Let me show y'all. Last bump shot. I am 38 weeks and four days. And I'm excited. And I'm ready to meet a baby girl. I clearly need to go change my shirt because it doesn't fit. It's just chilly outside, so I wore a long sleeve. But anyways, good morning. Just got to the hospital. <laughs> we just have to walk all the way to the front. We have dad with all our stuff. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, my bundle. My stomach is huge. We made it. This is the third baby we give birth to at this hospital, thank God. Because it's always been good, right? Like a good experience. All right, let's go check in to the second floor. It is 6.28 a.m. I am three centimeters dilated and 50% effaced. They just started the Pitocin drip um, at like a low level, but she did say that I was going to get it bumped up like every 15 minutes. I'm already contracting on my own. Um, four to six minutes, she said, but contractions are supposed to be three minutes apart. So the, this Pitocin is definitely going to kick in soon. Um, but yeah, here we are. I have my IV, which honestly didn't hurt that bad because she said that it hurts less if they put it on this side of the arm than on the hand. Um, sorry, I'm not focused. But yeah, I'm excited. Are you excited, Irvin? You excited? I'm contracting. So hopefully we'll get this epidural soon. That way my body can relax. She said it looks like it might be a fast labor. We'll see. Let's pray that everything comes out well. Healthy delivery, healthy baby. But I will check in a little bit later when I have like some type of update. I'm pretty sure you could hear the fan. But I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup. Because it is almost going to be 7 in the morning. So this could be a little bit of makeup of the day. I look super red, right? Like my face looks red. I think it's just because I'm hot. Yeah, the light. The light also makes it really hot. No, she doesn't. I have my little Mickey fan here. Hey, okay, it's coming in clutch. Because I couldn't find my other stroller fan that I had. Anyways, I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup. And I'll see you later. Oh my goodness. Okay, currently 
7.05, we think my water broke on its own. Just requested the epidural because the water broke, so we know contractions are gonna come fast and hard. So I'm currently getting fluids. It's gonna take about 30 minutes, and then they're gonna come and do the epidural. All right, it is 8.42, and I got the epidural at eight because contractions were getting strong. Um, and now we're just waiting. Hopefully I dilate faster. I think she said I was still at a three. Um, but because it's my third baby, I could dilate faster or she could come faster. So we're just waiting now. What? No. So now we're just waiting and to see what happens but they already brought like the table with all the stuff and yeah i haven't even recorded anything to the front here i am sitting in the room you can't even tell but the baby monitor over the, is over there with her heartbeat and my contractions are on that screen the baby warmer and then there's my husband What, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I watch so many of these like labor vlogs and like they just talk and talk and talk and like I fast forward so I don't want to just talk and talk because there's nothing to talk about. Um, I kind of did my makeup. I think I still need to add some mascara. Um, when I got the epidural because I was laying down, my nurse said that it works by gravity. I started feeling like the epidural was coming up, that I couldn't talk, like my tongue kind of tongue kind of got numb i do have the shakes but it, i'm fine and i'm sitting in like this weird position so that baby could go head down you you can't even tell Okay. Right, baby. Oh, you're oh, mad at us. Nice right? Now. 
such a bad angle but it's all I have oh my goodness it is like way later it's already 907 I don't remember what we recorded I know that my best friend recorded footage of like the pushing process but it's, it's just like audio until like she comes into my arms um but literally I, I like I took notes on my phone you can't see that but I did it with my other son too. Um, basically, um, I got Pitocin at 7 a.m. I got, and then my water broke at 8. Um, and then I got my epidural like at 8.45. And then by 11.50 I pushed and she came out in like three minutes. It literally took me like four pushes to get her out and she came out. Um, we tried one push, one practice push and the nurse called my doctor immediately because she's like, yeah, this baby's like ready. So she came out in three minutes. I think it was less but... It took like one contraction. She made me push literally like three, three or four times and she was out. Um, she looks good. Everything came back good. She was breathing a little bit fast, but they said that that was normal. But now she's doing really good. Um, it's already nine at night. Um, I was in like the labor and delivery floor. Um, she was born at 11.53 and at two o'clock. They moved me to my postpartum room. Um, no, no excess bleeding. Everything looks good. And my husband just got here with wings. Oh gosh. It is the next day. I don't think I've recorded. No, I haven't recorded today, but it's the next day. Today is the 10th. It's 12 o'clock noon. I'm by myself in the room. Um, my husband went to go put stuff away in the truck because we're getting discharged today. Hopefully everything comes back um, good with baby's lab work. They just took her um, because she's officially already turned 24 hours at 11.53 a.m. So about like 12 minutes ago, she turned 24 hours um and right now i'm filling out her little nameplate with all her birth info i'm so excited um so i could post a picture on instagram of her but anyways they took her to go get labs and then after this right now we're waiting to get like our celebratory meal we saved it for like the last day i mean i we got here yesterday for induction at five um and then when i realized dinner it was already too late to order it so we just decided to order it for lunch we should be getting discharged like around one i'm hoping one or two no not one one is too soon two <gasps> you brought it they just took her 
No, they they said that they were just gonna do like um on her foot, uh huh, of blood, and then the rest is not blood. What? What do you mean blood? They're gonna draw blood? Yeah, they're from her foot, like a little bit. Okay. Yeah, like a prick. That's it. Yeah, and check something else, but okay, no, it's the blood. Irvin just brought the the duna. It's so cute. It's pink. Why is everything like I would not like pink? Like even my nails are pink. I. I wasn't a pinky girl before, but now that I have a girl, I want everything pink. Her diaper bag's pink, her blanket's pink, her duna's pink, my scrunchie's pink. Anyways, um, so yesterday, I, last night, she was cluster feeding. She wasn't really sleeping. I think I'm running on two hours or three maybe of sleep. No. But everything is good. She's healthy. Thank God. I am looking good. The, my doctor came this morning and she said that I was good to go. But everything is good. I didn't record as I wanted to. I had envisioned my whole birth vlog. At least like my birth video for me to look back on because I don't have like the videos of my other boys but because the baby my baby because baby girl is my last baby i wanted to record everything but i you're just in the moment like it's just not like hey grab the camera or do this and i literally had to push really quickly so i didn't even get my husband to set the camera up because i know like this hospital has a policy of no recording but my doctor like allowed the recording because my friend was able to record things while i was pushing so i i kind of regret it but i don't regret my birth it went so smooth it was great she came out within three four pushes and i had this is my shortest labor for my three births so i'm thankful that we had a safe delivery and a safe baby thank you for watching today's video i will see you guys next time if you're still watching my videos bye